Good afternoon and welcome to the 2018 District Spelling Bee. We're going to begin by introducing the wonderful people helping us out today. Our Spelling Bee coordinators hiding up in the booth, Mr. Gerald Beyer. Principal at Washington School, Mr. Paul Klippel. And Principal Mark Yankee from Kate Goodrich Elementary. We have our pronouncer today, Principal Ruth Desjardins from Jefferson Elementary. Three wonderful judges, Brian Dasher, Ali Parvier, and Eric Heron and our stage manager, Tammy Rothmeyer. Thank you. Next, we'd just like to introduce um, or recognize the Spelling Bee participants who were alternates. Um, I don't believe any of them are here today. However, if you are, you can wave. From Jefferson Elementary, Cody Willis. From Kate Goodrich, Cassie Howard. From Prairie River Middle School, Jillian English, there's one, and Amanda Stoffel, and from Washington Elementary, Madison Sturm. Now to introduce the Spelling Bee participants who have taken the stage. From Jefferson Elementary, Dawson Dengel, go wave, and Rachel Berg. From Kate Goodrich Elementary, Jacob Matson and Abigail Bergner. From Prairie River Middle School, sixth graders, Armando Garcia, Emma Yeager, Connor Stenz, Thomas Lafreniere, and Alyssa Hardrath. Our seventh graders, Tyler Body, Kobe Blake, Michaela Cheva Chevalier, Dominic Davis, Bradley Draxler, and eighth graders, Matthew Calhoun, Maria Ponco, Jacob Burbach, Mackenzie Ballant, and Connor Howard. And finally, from Washington Elementary, we have Sophia Schroeder and Zoe Borelli Curry. Mr. Byer. words. All written tests will be scored twice by two different people. Tiebreakers for scoring the written portion of the competition will be in this order. Bonus words, seat of words, and a coin flip. After the written portion of the spelling bee, the top 10 contestants will be seated in the order of their scores on the written test. The speller with the highest score will be one, next highest two, and so on. The oral portion of the B will commence with speller 10 going first, followed by 9, 8, etc. So 
sound check? Yeah, you can hear me? <clears throat> All right. So again, you might want to use your hand or your certificates there to cover your um, words as we go. Hopefully everyone has their name on their paper. And we will begin with number one, Horizon. Stan thought he saw an airplane on the horizon. Horizon. Still a couple pencils moving. Number two, isolation. The patient had to be kept in isolation until the doctors could determine the cause of his illness. Isolation. Number three, recyclable. Recyclable materials include many kinds of glass, paper, metal, plastic, textiles, and electronics. Recyclable. Number four, constitutional. Is that law constitutional? Constitutional. Number five, statistician. The statistician compiles statistical information for the purpose of analysis. Statistician. If at any time I'm going too fast, please raise your hand. So, Number six, anxiety. The student felt anxiety about possibly failing her English class. Anxiety. Number seven, stimulus. The stimulus package in the United States has increased spending. Stimulus. Number eight, <clears throat> cauterize. Cauterize means to burn or sear with a cautery, as in surgical procedures. Cauterize. Number nine, chastise. We often chastise the offender to regain public confidence. Chastise. Number 10, restaurant. She enjoyed her first job as a waitress in a small restaurant. Number 11, succumb. Do not succumb to the pressure. Succumb. Number 12, perfectionism. Perfectionism fuels us to achieve at high levels. Perfectionism. Number 13, occupancy. Occupation of a building without a certificate of occupancy is illegal. Occupancy. Number 14, indivisible. 
We use the word indivisible every day when we recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Indivisible. Number 15, intelligence. The human species is known for its exceptional intelligence. Intelligence. Number 18, corridor. The bathroom is down the main hall next to the eastern corridor. Corridor. Number 19, concentrate. I concentrate on my studies to improve my grades. Concentrate. Number 20, remedial. The student was placed into remedial math. Remedial. Number 21, villa. She lives in a villa in the south of France. Villa. Number 22, obituary. Did you know the ob newspaper has an obituary section? Obituary. Number 23, deodorant. Some people need to use deodorant after gym class. Deodorant. Number 24, efficient. The hybrid car has proven to be very efficient. Efficient. Number 25, longitude. The maximum longitude is 180 degrees. Longitude. Okay, so that's our official 25. We have five tiebreaker words which will only be used in just that scenario to break the tie if needed. So if you want to... Like on the other side here, the first tiebreaker word, geologist. A geologist is a person who specializes in geologic research and study. Geologist. Second tiebreaker word, forensics. Police forensics team were at the crime scene looking for clues to the murder. Forensics. Third tiebreaker word, manuscript. The young girl submitted her manuscript to the literary agency. Manuscript. Number four tiebreaker, congratulations. Congratulations to the winners 
and the important work they will do. Congratulations. Their fifth and final tiebreaker word today, optometry. My eye doctor studied in the field of optometry. Optometry. <clears throat> As you're finished, if you want to leave your papers and pencils, and I think it's refreshment time. Is that right, Mr. Anyone? Oh, which, Emma, do you have a number? Number seven was stimulus. Stimulus. Number 20 was remedial. Remedial. Emma? Number eight, cauterize. Cauterize. One more? Anyone else? <clears throat> Your last one, Emma? Number 11, succumb. And, then, and we said 20 was remedial. Okay, and it's time for refreshments. Is that right, Mr. Byer? Oh, at, go ahead. Okay, at this time, students, if you'd like to have some refreshments in the lobby or go back and join your parents if they are here and relax a little bit while we check over your tests. Oh, leave the test on the table, but take your certificate, okay? Here, if we could have the principal's help out, we're going to do a group picture here with all the participants in the spelling bee. Then we are ready to announce the top ten, and we'll turn it over to the MC in just a little bit. While students are clearing the stage, you can see, be seated right in the auditorium. Uh, that We're going to announce the top ten here as soon as everyone is seated. For those in the audience, I do want to thank you for coming here today. In order to make the top ten and get on stage here for the oral part, uh, 15 was the low score. 15 out of 25 was the minimum. And we did have a couple tiebreakers. The judges have that all taken care of. And at this time, we're going to turn it back over to Mrs. Zocker to announce, first of all, the top ten, and then we'll go through the oral competition rules for Part B. Okay, we will begin with the tenth seed being Abigail Bergner. So come on up, Abby. And Abigail, when you go up there, you'll see the number ten. You can put that right around uh, your neck here. We'll be wearing of what seed you are, and that'll help us in the booth. Thank you, Abigail. Our ninth seed, Jacob Matson. Number eight seed, Connor Howard. Our seventh seed, Armando Garcia. Number six seed, Dominic Davis. Fifth seed, Mackenzie Ballant. Number four seed, Michaela Chevalier. Number three seed, Jacob Burbach. 
Number two seed, Matthew Calhoun. And our number one seed, Maria Panko. Okay, now the 10 students up there, you can smile and wave to the judges. They are right in front of you. It won't help you at all in the competition, but I thought you'd want to know where they are. Also, you can see there is a microphone right in front of you. We're going to give you a practice round here shortly. Uh, before we do the practice round, uh, round, though, I want to uh, make sure you listen here for the instructions in this oral competition. Go ahead, Mrs. Zucker. This part of the contest shall be conducted so that one person is eliminated at a time proceeding in the order that the top 10 spellers have been seated. Any speller that misspells a word will be immediately eliminated from the competition. Using this process, competitors will be eliminated until there are only three spellers remaining. The fourth to last person remaining in the spelling bee will be deemed the alternate for the purposes of the regional spelling bee and the top three students in the spelling bee will advance to the regional competition and participate in part C. So what we're gonna do at this time then, we would ask the first speller, which would be the, the 10 seed, I believe it was Abigail, to step right up onto the microphone. For judges, this is a practice round. For audience and kids, this is a practice round. We wanna make sure that you're comfortable with the microphone, that the microphone is working, and that you can hear our pronouncer, Mrs. Desjardins. You will not be eliminated if you spell the practice word incorrectly. Again, this is just a practice round. Mrs. Desjardins. All right, after all those big words, you get to practice and get the jitters out here. So, first word is nap. Grandma takes a nap every afternoon. Nap. Thank you. Thank you, speller 10. We'll have speller 10 be seated. Uh, by the way, with the judges, when we do have a word spelled correctly, we do have a bell. Could you just ring the bell one time? I believe that word was spelled correctly. That's a good sound. Well, it wasn't a real good bell, but that's a good sound if you hear the bell. <laughs> Speller number nine. And we should say it, it is helpful if you repeat the word and then spell the word and repeat the word. That way we know when you heard the correct word and we know when you're finished that you repeat the word, okay? So, leg. The dog bit Tony's leg. 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 L-E-G. Leg. Thank you. Excellent job, Speller 9. In competition now <laughs> for students here. After the pronouncer gives the speller a word, the speller will be encouraged to pronounce the word before spelling it, just as he did, and after spelling it. The judges may not disqualify a speller for failing to pronounce the word either before or after. In other words, boys and girls, you don't have to, but it's highly encouraged. The judges will know that the speller is done if he or she pronounces the word after spelling it, and the pronouncer will be assured that the speller has heard the word correctly if he or she pronounces it before beginning to spell it. So in other words, please do say the word. It helps us. Speller 8. Cup. Please put more coffee in my cup. 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 C-U-P. Cup. Thank you. Um, Another rule back. here, the speller may ask the pronouncer to say the word again. And number seven, you can come right up there. You can ask our pronouncer to define the word, give the part of speech, use it in a sentence. The pronouncer shall grant all such requests until the judges agree that the word has been reasonably clear to the contestant. Judges may disqualify any speller who ignores a request to start spelling. Number seven, are you ready? Ham. We had ham for dinner on Sunday. Ham. Ham. H-A-M. Ham. Thank you. With regards to homonyms, this year we did eliminate all homonyms from competition. Speller six, come on up. Glad. I was glad to be back home. Glad. Glad. G-L-A-D. Glad. Drum. He continued to bang on the drum. 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 D-R-U-M. Drum. Number four can go up. Just another thing you need to know, boys and girls. If you've started spelling a word, you may stop and start over. 
retracing the spelling from the beginning. But in retracing, there can be no change of letters or their sequences from those first pronounced. If the letters or their sequences are changed in the respelling, the speller is eliminated. In other words, a speller cannot correct himself even while it is still his or her turn. Tell. Please tell me what really happened. Tell. Tell. T-E-L-L. Tell. Number three. Went. I went to the store to get milk. Went. W-E-N-T. Went. Protests may be filed by anyone wishing to reinstate a speller into the contest, but will not be heard from any individual seeking to dislodge another speller in this competition. Deadline for filing a protest is before the speller affected would have received his or her, ne his or her next word. No protest will be entertained after that word has been issued to another speller. Protests should be verbally made to any designated adult of those people we introduced here today uh, right, af right after the completion of that event. Thank you. Spin. If you spin too much, you will get dizzy. Spin. Spin. S-P-I-N. Spin. Drop. Try not to drop mom's favorite vase. Drop. Drop. D-R-O-P. <coughs> drop. Lastly, judges are in complete control of the competition. Their decisions are final. Spelling bees are not unlike sporting events in which referees call the plays as they see them. Players do not always agree with the decisions or like them, but accept them as part of good sportsmanship, and I know we all believe in that. So at this time, we're going to go live here now, starting with speller number 10. Uh, for our MC, you can have a seat for now, I believe. And then for students in competition, or judges and pronouncer, we are starting with word number 76. Again, word number 76 in the packet is the first word. For those in the audience, we would ask you to please shut off your cell phones or at least put them on vibrate mode. For students, make sure you're speaking clearly into the microphone so your judges can hear you. So we'll speller number 10. Arrest. Luke reached out for a tree branch in an attempt to arrest his fall into the lake. Arrest. Arrest. A-R-R-E-S-T. Arrest. Slight. Don always fed the slight stray cat when it came around the neighborhood. Slight. Slight. S-L-I-G-H-T. Slight. Undertow, a sign on the beach warned swimmers of the strong undertow. 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 U N D E R T O W. Undertow. Next color, number seven. You can just jump right in there. Canteen. Joe survived in the desert because he carried a canteen filled with water. Canteen. Canteen. C A N T I N E. Canteen. Oh, okay. The correct spelling of canteen? C A N T E E N. Thank okay, you. Speller number 10. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm going to have you exit the other side of the stage. Leave. Please leave that on, and I want you to exit the other side of the stage. We want to get all names for the top 10 for Mrs. Rothmeyer and our MC. They're over there seated. Okay. Congratulations, contestant seven. Remember, folks, it is single elimination right now until we get down to three candidates. Uh, contestant six. Climate. The climate in the museum was carefully controlled in order to protect the works of art on display. Climate. Climate. C-L-I-M-A-T-E. Climate. Reveal. Marilyn made a point to dramatically reveal her birthday wish to her parents. Reveal. Reveal. R-E-V-E-A-L. Reveal. Q. 
cucumber. Trevor sliced a small cucumber and added it to his salad. Cucumber. Cucumber. C U C U M B E R. Okay. Harness. The bells on the harness of the horse jingled loudly. Harness. Harness. H A R N E S S. Harness. Rustic. Visitors to the village considered the inhabitants rustic. 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 R U S T I C. Rustic. Describe. Try as she might, she could not find the words to describe her coursework. Describe. Describe. D E C D E S. Oh no, I can't think of that. Sorry. Okay, now the, we're going to give a round of applause here to two students. We're down to eight. Give a round of applause for those two. That's the difficulty of spelling B. It's kind of a visual thing, and sometimes orally gets tough. Just one other thing before we start with the next word. The next word will be number 86. We're down to eight. Again, it's single elimination until we get down to three. For students, we do ask that we, you say the word, uh, pronounce it in the beginning before spelling it, and at the end, it does help our pronouncer and our judges know when you're ready and know when you're done. Thank you. The word is pineapple. Brian always saved the juicy chunks of pineapple for last when eating. Pineapple. Pineapple. P-I-N-A-P-P-L-E. Pineapple. Sorry, the correct spelling of pineapple. P-I-N-E-A-P-P-L-E. -E. Your word is weakness. Jerry went through an unexpected period of physical weakness. 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 W E A K N E S S. Weakness. Whiskery. The casting director for the Western movie is looking for a whiskery man. Whiskery. Whiskery. W H I S K E R Y. Whiskery. Moonlight. Some people like to look at the moonlight. 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 M O O N L I G H T. Moonlight. Upbringing. The school principal credited credited his upbringing for the strong morals he had. Upbringing. Upbringing. U P B R I N G I N G. Patient. Generally, he was not a patient person. Patient. Patient. P E. -E oh. You already caught yourself. Patient. P A T I E N T. Patient. So, fellas, you might want to just take a breath before you start. Okay. Culture. Before going on her school trip to China, Emily read several books about Chinese culture. 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 C-U-L-T-U-R-E. Culture. Presume. If it rains that day, Nancy will presume that our tennis game will be postponed. Presume. Presume. P-R-E-S-U-M-E. -E. Presume. Okay, let's just take a, take a pause here, and I want to give a round of applause for the two contestants no longer in the competition. And we'll continue with word number 95. Thank you. Worthwhile. Volunteering is a worthwhile and much appreciated activity. Worthwhile. Worthwhile. W-O-R-T-H-W-I-L-E. 
Worthwhile, very close. W O R T H W H I L E. Worthwhile. Conflict. Paul and his mother are in a conflict over whether he should be able to play football. Conflict. Conflict. C O N F L I C T. Conflict. Pleasant. Her relationship with her mother-in-law is very pleasant. 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 P-L-E-A-S-E-A-N-T. Pleasant. Pleasant is spelled P-L-E-A-S-A-N-T. Pleasant. Factoid. Although Jason was a trivia buff, the factoid he needed to win the game eluded him. Factoid. Factoid. F-A-C-T-O-I-D. Humility. The successful sports figure maintained his humility. 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 H-U-M-I-L-I-T-Y. Humility. Amass. James and Justin want to amass a collection of spiders and snakes. Amass. Amass. A-M-A-S-S. -S. Amass. Okay, before the next speller, we want a round of applause for the two students who were dismissed that round. We now have four contestants left. Uh, remember, the regional competition has three students advancing to the regional competition, which will be held. Uh, right here at Prairie River Middle School one week from today. Positive. She was positive she would receive a good score on her test. Positive. Positive. P-O-S-I-T-I-V-E. Positive. Conclude. The business owners came to conclude that they should extend their hours. Conclude. Conclude. C-O-N-C-L-U-D-E. Condone. Mr. Byer does not condone talking during tests. Condone. Condone. C-O-N-D-O-N-E. Condone. Faulty. Her attempt to assemble the new cabinet alone was foiled by a faulty shelf. Faulty. Faulty. F-A-U-L-T-Y. Faulty. Give these students a round of applause, folks. Mm -hmm. Transfixed. The crowd was transfixed by the singer's voice. Transfixed. Transfixed. T R A N S F I X E D Transfix Mandate The governor cited a statute as the mandate for his actions. Mandate Mandate M A N D A T E Mandate Default. When the team neglected to have enough players on the field, they lost the game by default. 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 D-E-F-A-U-L-T. Default. Preserve. Beverly will preserve her bumper crop of peaches. Preserve. Preserve. P-R-E-S-E-R-V-E. Contrary. That was contrary to what she told us last year. Contrary. Contrary. C-O-N-T-R-A-R-Y. Contrary. Amigo. Roger has been John's amigo since grade school. Amigo. A-M-I-G-O. Amigo. Enact. 
Today's vote will, in all probability, enact the bill. Enact. Enact. E-N-A-C-T. Enact. Flora. The flora of South Carolina includes the palmetto. Flora. Flora. F-L-O-R-A. Flora. Formula. The formula for carbon monoxide is CO. Formula. Formula. F-O-R-M-U-L-A. Formula. Curiosity. The locked box aroused immense curiosity. 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 C-U-R-I-O-U-S-I-T-Y. Sorry, the correct spelling of curiosity is C-U-R-I-O-S-I-T-Y. Thank you. Okay, speller number four is the alternate for next week. Again, speller number four is the alternate for the regional competition. The three on stage, I'm going to have you uh, slide together. The MC is now going to go through the new rules. Can go to the middle, maybe. Slide together right in the right in the end is just All fine. Right. And we're going to we have a different kind of play now. By the way, uh, for those in the crowd, let's give these round uh, give a round of applause for these three. They are advancing to the regional competition next week. So for the three up there, uh, gentlemen, the pressure's off. Uh, this is just about bragging rights now, first, second, third here. You will be representing the district next week. And this is round play. Uh, Mrs. Zocker, go right ahead. When the competition is down to the top three spellers, round play will begin. If no spellers in a round spell their words correctly, all spellers in that round remain in the competition and a new round begins. If two spellers in a round spell their words correctly, then those two continue in competition. The person who did not spell their word correctly finishes in third place. If one speller in a round spells correctly, a new one-word round begins. If that speller spells the championship word correctly, that speller is the champion. If that speller is wrong, a new round begins with all of the spellers from the previous round spelling again. The spelling bee is over and a champion declared when there is only one speller left in a round, and that speller has spelled the championship word correctly. The second and third place tiebreaker, should it be necessary, is based on their seed from the written round. So before we start up with the next word, 121, thank you, Mrs. Zocker, this is now round play. So for the three spellers remaining, please do not be seated in the auditorium uh, please be seated in the chair unless we direct you. And also, if you uh, are, do get a championship word, you have to spell that championship word correctly in order to be declared the champion. So this is round play. This will be round number one. We will start with speller, I believe it's number eight. We'll be first up, and I believe the word number is 121. Snarky. Juliet's favorite blog was a particularly snarky one about celebrity style. Snarky. Snarky. S-N-A-R-K-Y. Snarky. Emotional. The chef was a highly emotional person. Emotional. Emotional. E-M-O-T-I- A-L, emotional. Quirky. The young television star was often described as quirky. 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 Q-U-I-R-K-Y. Quirky. Okay, so I believe, just please stay seated. I believe speller number three did have an incorrect answer. Mm -hmm. We would ask them to be seated. Uh, your place then is third place. Congratulations, speller number three. Okay. We will continue. And now we're on to round number two. Provoke. The Disney films of her childhood always provoke warm feelings. Provoke. Provoke. P-R-O. 
V O K E. Provoke. Primitive. Primitive humans fashioned tools from rocks. Primitive. Primitive. P R I M I T I V E. Primitive. On to round three. And we're going to continue um, because I think we have some repeats from our written round. If you would need to. Uh, 129. If you want need to pass one up, that's fine. Just make sure we clearly communicate that with the judges. Yep, I, I believe, like I said, I think we had some repeats from the written round. So 129, particular. Jeffrey did not offer a particular reason for missing her curfew. Particular. Particular. P-A-R-T-I-C-U-L-A-R. Particular. Purification. The campers included in their gear a portable system for the purification of water. Purification. Purification. P U R I F I C A T I O N. Purification. On to round four. Satire. Gulliver's Travels is a scathing satire of political hypocrites. Satire. Satire. S A T Y R E satire. Proposition. The highway superintendent presented his proposition for Spring Street repair to the mayor. Proposition. Proposition. P R O P O S I T I O N. Proposition. Okay, speller number two stay there. Okay. will stay up there. What we have right now, this is a championship word. If spelled correctly on a championship word, you are declared a champion. If the word is spelled incorrectly, the two of you will remain on stage and we'll start another round. Okay, we'll go to number 134. Receptacle. Two points, cried Braden as the wadded paper ball landed in the trash receptacle. 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 R E C E P T I C L E. Receptacle. On to round number five. A C L E. Evaluate. Chris is one of three employees who will evaluate the project's potential for profit. Evaluate. Evaluate. E V A L. U A T E. Evaluate. Recipient. The principal shook hands with each recipient of the school's annual awards. Recipient. Recipient. R E C I P I E N T. Recipient. Mm -hmm. Next round. Exception. The librarian made an exception and permitted her to take a reference book out of the library. Exception. Exception. E X C E P T I O N. Exception. Incredible. Gavin told an incredible story about saving his dog from an alligator. Incredible. Incredible. I N C R E D I B L E. Incredible. Diverge. Deep in the forest, two paths diverge from the main road. Diverge. Diverge. D I V E R G E. Diverge. Cultivation. Frigid weather conditions and barren soil make cultivation of the tundra almost impossible. Cultivation. Cultivation. C-U-L-T-I-V-A-T-I-O-N. Cultivation. Explanation. Mrs. Murphy stared at her children as they waited for an explanation. 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 E X P L A N. A T I O N. Explanation. 
satisfactory. Jessie's audition earned her satisfactory scores. Satisfactory. Satisfactory. S A T I S F A C T O R Y. Satisfactory. Suspicion. There is no evidence to support, support his suspicion that the neighbor poisoned his dog. Suspicion. Suspicion. S U S P I C I O N. Suspicion. Ferocious. The Nile crocodile can be a ferocious predator. Ferocious. Ferocious. F E R O C I O U S. Ferocious. Convention. Dante and Henry played charades using a convention of their own devising. Convention. Convention. C O N V E N T I O N. Convention. Intricate. Jason described the intricate mechanism of the clock as awesome. Intricate. Intricate. I N T R I C A T E. Intricate. Ambitious. Overly ambitious, Kelly got sick after competing in the hot dog eating contest. Ambitious. Ambitious. A M B I. T I O U S ambitious Magnificent The late president's magnificent estate was turned into a museum Magnificent Magnificent M A G N I F I C E N T Magnificent Vaporize the cooling effect of rubbing alcohol on skin is caused by the extraction of heat as the molecules acquire kinetic energy and vaporize. 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 V-A-P-O-R-I-Z-E. Vaporize. Reactionary. The pundit said that the politician was too reactionary in his response to the crisis. Reactionary. Reactionary. R E A C T I O N A R Y reaction. Let's give these guys a round of applause. They're working really hard. Environment. Protection of the environment has become an important political issue. Environment. Environment. E N V I R O N M E N T. Environment. The judges, we're going to skip over to 158. Elaborative. Each topical heading was followed by elaborative paragraphs giving details. Elaborative. Elaborative. E L A B O R I T I V E. Elaborative. I have a seat. Okay, I did not hear the bell, so we do have a championship word here for contestant number eight. Again, championship word. Provincial. Katie's open Midwestern friendliness was labeled provincial by the big city dwellers. Provincial. Provincial. P-R-O-V-I-N-T-I-A-L. Provincial. Sorry. Okay, we're going to start yeah. another round here. Contestant eight, we're going to have you go right back up to the microphone. <laughs> And we'll start another round. Incoherently, the distraught woman explained rather incoherently that she couldn't find her three-year-old daughter. Incoherently. Incoherently. I-N-C-O-H-E-R-E-N-T-L-Y. Incoherently. Innovator. Steve Jobs was renowned as an innovator in both technology and business. Innovator. Innovator. I N N O V A T O R. Innovator. Ardent. Sally is an ardent supporter of environmental causes. Ardent. Ardent. A R D E N T. Ardent.
flirtatious, the server at the diner had a mildly flirtatious smile. Flirtatious. Flirtatious. F L I R T A T I O U S. Flirtatious. Implicit. Implicit in Amy's reaction was a message for Carol to mind her own business. Implicit. Implicit. I M P L I C I T. Implicit. Opulent. The room's opulent decor included original works of art and a crystal chandelier. Opulent. Opulent. O P U L E N T. Opulent. Consistency. The interior designer wanted a consistency of style. Consistency. Consistency. C O N S I S. T E N C Y consistency. Prominent. That was one of the prominent businessmen in town. Prominent. Prominent. P R O M I N E N T. Prominent. Intuitive. The investigative reporter prided herself on having an intuitive mind. Intuitive. Intuitive. I N T U I T I V E. Intuitive. Skip 171, please. Y yep. <laughs> integral. Running on the treadmill while watching the news has become an integral part of Janice's day. Integral. Integral. I N T E G R A L. Integral. Equivalent. Butter and margin are equivalent in most recipes. Equivalent. Equivalent. E Q U I V E L A N T. Equivalent. Equivalent. That is intact. Planetarium. The planetarium uses a high definition video projector. Planetarium. Planetarium. P L A N E T A R I U M Planetary. Stay there, you need one more championship word, correct? Championship word for speller number two. Okay, we'll go to 178. Empirical. Epidemiologists rely heavily on empirical data. Empirical. Empirical. E M P I R I C A L. Empirical. That is correct. We have our champion. Let's give Hello. everyone a round of applause. Congratulations to all of the participants. At this time, we would ask the top 10 to please get back on stage. We'd like a picture of the top 10. We'll need a picture of the top four as well. That includes the alternate uh, for the photo news. And I want to thank each and every one of you for helping us out today. And for those of you in attendance, thank you very much. Nice job, kids.